Hey, how you doing? All right, when Don Pearson came uh, just last week and gave us a great lesson on an introduction to uh, picking individual notes, he put out a lot of information. Now, he also gave us a great handout here, and I'm going to be using that. I'm just going to do a recap of what he taught us. I'll also uh, put a copy of this uh, in, the, in the email that goes out to the group. Uh, so in case you weren't here, you can have his, uh, his instruction. Um, really, really good stuff. I just want to, to recap what he said so that you can reinforce it and continue uh, to practice and improve in this, this very important technique. Now, he talked first about you know, holding the pick and how um, not a whole lot of pick should show. You don't hold it way back here, hold it down here, pinched between your um, your thumb and your index finger, index finger kind of pointing down, and uh, you don't have to put a death grip on it, um, just, you know, hold it enough to where, you know, it doesn't, you know, spin around on you, <coughs> excuse me, and then he was talking about with the left hand, how your thumb position can, uh, you know, there's several ways you can put your thumb. Uh, my thumb naturally rests over the top of the guitar. Um, it may be that you naturally put your thumb right here vertically on the back of the neck, the way the classical players do. And, uh, and then there's, you know, that thumb over. Whatever works good for you is is fine for that. The only thing that, that Don mentioned that you really do not want to do is to um, is to have your thumb horizontal here on the back of the neck. It needs to be more vertical on the top or even hooked over. Okay, and then uh, on the right side, he's talking about uh, you know some folks will anchor their finger here on the uh, on the, the, the face of the guitar but you need to have a point of, of reference so, so that you're not just you know all over the place some people put their hand here on the the bridge and work that way some kind of do a combination of that that's kind of what I do is is uh, is I'll have my hand resting on the bridge and then the uh, and my fingers touching down here on the on the front of the guitar uh, to kind of give me a uh, a point of reference, so I know kind of where I am from somewhere else, so I don't have to be looking at the strings all the time to uh, to do my thing. <laughs> all right. Then he taught us an exercise, and he was saying that we need to when we press down to to fret an individual string, it needs to be either in the center between the two frets, closer closer to the body of the guitar than to the top to make the strings ring out better. I try to make it a practice to be you know, right down here in this bottom third of this area, right next to the fret wire. And then that way, um, the strings have a better chance of ringing clear than if you're, you're way up here. If your guitar is nicely set up, it'll it'll you know cut you that slack. But uh, if your guitar has a little higher action, then that'll result in a um, in an uncertain note. Uh, it won't do that well. More along that line. Okay, so the exercise that he taught us was to to start with the. Uh, we're going to use the index finger on the first fret. We're going to use our middle finger on the second fret. We're going to use our ring finger on the third fret. And we're going to use our pinky finger on the fourth fret. And we're going to just play one note at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, you don't have to keep all your fingers down as you go at this stage. One. You don't have to do that. Uh, if your fingers had, are having trouble reaching, just that's perfectly fine at this point. Then as we went up 
the strings to the second string, he introduced a new concept, this pick rest, where once you pick, you know, you're not you're not picking out like that. You're picking down and then letting the pick rest on the string below there. Not going through there, not but just so it's We'll do that on all of these other strings. Is, is we'll pick the note and then let the string let the pick rest on the string below it. I'm gonna try to keep this where where you can uh, can see. Let me drop the camera down just a little bit more here, or maybe we can see this right hand a little better. Okay, that's better. All right, and so the the exercise is to do this all the way across the neck. Now you'll notice as you watch me do this, everybody's you know, hands work a little bit differently, but I'll start and my, my thumb will be pretty high. As I work my way up the neck, my thumb starts dropping back, my wrist starts dropping, and I rotate my hand around to make it easier to reach these bigger strings that are a longer reach up the neck than these down here. So my thumb just naturally kind of rotates around because my, my arm drops down, my wrist rolls around. So nothing gets painful, nothing gets uh, you know, really hard. Make it as easy on you as you can. <laughs> and so you notice when I'm getting this first string, my thumb drops completely out of sight. It's actually vertical behind the neck at that point. But as I come back down, then my thumb works its way back up. It just kind of floats as a point of reference as, as we go. So like I say, you do it the way that works good for you. Now, this will tire your fingers out. Your fingers will get tired. And so, and, and they may even hurt, particularly as you stretch down here with this pinky finger. This pinky is really lazy. It doesn't like to do hard work, but uh, it's good if you can whip it into shape to do some work for you. It'll help you out later. All right, then he also recommended that we, uh, that we do this to a metronome kind of after we get the mechanics of this down. Go through this. We're going to go one, two, three. Notice each time as I'm playing one of these notes, I've got the pick resting on the string below it. Because you're pushing down with your with your thumb and staying there in the guitar. We, we're not doing nothing like this. It's just, and we're doing all downstrokes. Later we'll add some other elements, but right now this is where we're going to be. Then once you get down here, Start over again. And do it as slowly as you need to do it to make the strings ring clear. If you're doing you're not you're not learning anything. Slow it down until you can play it clearly. Is it a race? It's a process. If you want to, you can continue then. Start with your first finger on the second fret and go. that, go up to the third fret. I 
Another thing you can do if you want to is you can then work your way back down. However you want to do it, you're working on being able to, to, to fret and pluck the note cleanly and be in position then to start your next note. Um, that's really what this is all about. Because it's an exercise to strengthen your hand, to help your pick technique, and to have you then ready to move on to other things. Now, Don was recommending that you do this then with a uh, with a uh, a pendulum uh, with a metronome, and so I have my metronome set at sixty beats per minute. You can do it slower than that. You can set it wherever you need to set it, but it helps you with that sense of timing to get it right. So I'm going to uh, to start out. I'm going to do this for uh, a little bit with at sixty beats per minute. Maybe you can do it with me. still lazy. If you get to where you can do that, see now, that's probably where I need to be working because I had a couple of notes that choked out. You heard that I didn't get them clearly. And so I need to continue to work here at 60. <clears throat> now, if I was getting way behind or a lot of notes were choking out, then I'd need to slow it down. But I had it almost there. So 60 is where I need to be right now until I can play that through several times with every note ringing clear and then jump it up to maybe 65 and see what that does and then continue to work on that. This is not something you need to spend hours and hours a day on. It's a good warm-up when you first start practicing. Maybe do that for two, three, four minutes or if your fingers start getting, uh, start hurting, then, you know, lay off and let it go. Once again, like I always say, it's all about having fun playing the guitar and adding to your skill set and getting to where you can play more songs and use more techniques, the more fun it gets. All right. Thanks, Don Pearson, for bringing this great lesson to us. And thank you guys for showing up every second and fourth Monday night and making it such a joy to be with you. All right. God bless. and We'll see you soon.